Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the second part. How to use Rigify add-on and rig your characters as shown here in our tutorial. So let's uh, go forward to go ahead to show you uh, something pretty interesting. Hit one for the front view as shown here. We are in object mode as shown in our tutorial. Uh, then you should go over edit mode. Uh, make sure that you have selected the tips of the bones so let's move those bones to set them in in the right positions so grab it like this grab it like this so just let's move it over here to the joint uh, area move this uh, tip of the bone like this to this uh, wrist and also move uh, grab it I think to this part over here. Control Z. So I for I forgot to enable. Forgot to enable mirroring feature. It's over here. Go over here. Hit X. I think we are on X axis. Yes, we are on X axis to enable this uh, mirroring feature over there. So just tap into object mode. I want to scale it just tiny bit like this in order to position those parts correctly. So uh, what I have done in the first steps uh, earlier, it's around. So just I want to tap into edit mode like this, select this this part. I think it's good. I don't need to select. So just grab it like this. And you can see that the mirror feature is working now. So just uh, grab more of this tip. Uh, should be in the right place approximately for this joint in the arm so grab this uh, tip of the bone like this to this uh, area over here so just select this tip of the bone grab it I think uh, to the tip of the hands and as shown in our tutorial it's this feature is pretty amazing to to do whatever you want, so just I want to select, I think I should select this, grab it, uh, done, just a little bit in order to make it uh, pretty good, so just to, to set it in the right place, so grab, grab like this, I think this will be fine, so just uh, move it up just a little bit, select this tip, move it in the right place of the knees, knees bones, and the knee joint, so just select this uh, tip, also the weight for the other parts as uh, as done previously, so move it to the heel and the, the bone this area over there hit 3 to see what we have here, if we move it to the, those parts correctly and uh, put them in the right place, so just move this to the center I think this will be not bad this is not bad this I think it's not bad hit 3 for the side view in order to see better all those parts I think this should be fine so grab it let's see what you have here Hit one for the front view, so just select uh, these two bones. I think all these uh, tips for all those bones, so grab them on the X axis uh, to the right place, like this. I think it's uh, good and fine. Yes, they are in the right place. Just zoom out, so grab it, move it uh, like this, I think, move this uh, tip, this bone to the right place, so just zoom in just a little bit, to see what you have over here, rotate it, hit 3 for the side view, so just zoom in. I think it's, it's not bad, so let's move this uh, bone. Bone of the neck, move it to the right place. Like this. 
they think we have some mistakes, so just to move it, this is going away. Rub it to the right place for the arm. Select this tip, move it. Like, just like this. <coughs> I think this is so fine and all bones are in the right place. So just hit one for the front view in order to make sure that all bones are in the right place. Just move it, grab it like this. I think it's uh, good enough to make sure that all bones are in the right place. So let's move it down. And that's pretty good. Let's switch to object mode like this. Select, make sure that you have selected all uh, the uh, old bones of this armature. Uh, hit N, then go over transform. We have that uh, the scale it's around. The scale should be one 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 on different axes X Y Z. So in order to uh, correct this, so uh, just to make sure that you have selected all bones of this armature over here, Control A. It's gonna be showing this pop up menu. Go over scale and click on it. It's gonna be setting the scale like this to one uh, on different three axes. So now it's time to apply the Rigify add-on, so let's see how to do it. Hit N to uh, hide this side menu, go over uh, this object data properties, go over here. So just search for the menu of the Rigify add-on, it's over there. We have Rigify layer names like this, and you can see it and set whatever you want. Also, we have Rigify buttons, click on it, it's gonna be expanding to show this video. So if you want to generate rig, make sure that all those bones are in the right place because something wrong is going to make a lot of issues, especially in animation. So just uh, I want to generate a rig if I make sure that you are in object mode. So generate rig. And you, we have generated this rig as shown here, and you can see it clearly. Uh, all those lines and the, uh, and different arrows for the animation. So let's uh, parent uh, parent the bones uh, to the mo to the mesh like this. So just first things first, I want to let's hide all the bones like this. Select the mesh, uh, hold on shift and select uh, the rig like this as shown here. So control the MP and uh, click on with automatic weights. Just wait some seconds in order to uh, parent uh, the bones to the mesh like this. And as shown here, so just let's select, for example, Tap, I think, tap into object mode. So this time, let's uh, switch to pause mode like this. So just select this cube in order to end. So let's move it. Let's see what we have here. Control Z. And you can see it. It's better and amazing. So just I want to hear to hide the rigs and the bones. Let's uh, play around with moving some parts of the body like this. And you can see it clearly, for example. So just let's move, for example, the head. Make sure that you are in pose mode and you can move the head like this. Control Z. I think it's fine. So let's move this area of the body. It's fine and pretty amazing. So just let's move, for example, this area. Move the hand, for example. And you can see it clearly. And that's pretty amazing. I think it's uh, good enough uh, 
this tutorial to animate and uh, just to use a uh, rigify add-on it's uh, amazing and built-in add-on and free you don't need to pay f uh, much more and uh, to get uh, so expensive add-ons thanks for watching